Last week, one of the biggest releases occurred with the GPT store. However, 99% of people missed the single biggest opportunity that happened as a byproduct of that that was a release that went under the radar. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Ryan Staley, and effectively, I've grown a division from zero to 30 million in ARR in five years with only four salespeople. I've helped over 800 CRO executives learn my proprietary system in terms of selling. And then at the same time, I help revenue teams implement AI into their business. All right, let's get started. So one of the things I want to show you today was basically something that 99% of people missed and it went totally under the radar because of all the buzz of the GPT store. So what I'm going to do today is show you how to use this and how to unlock this when most people are sleeping at the wheel. Okay. So I'm going to walk you through this and show you literally three examples that you'll be able to experience with this in real time. Why don't I pull this up on my screen and I'm going to walk you through this. I have these pre-built out just for time purposes. And so what you're going to see here is this is one of the examples of effectively data analysis, okay? And most people don't understand that effectively with this, or at least I didn't understand it, is there's a new function that ChatGPT, or I should say OpenAI released, that effectively is enabling you to use this function while them not training on your data and having it be completely secure, okay? Now, this was the thing that I, or I should say the primary reason why I never used it was because of the fact that I didn't want to share my data with OpenAI. And when they released the Teams capability, which as you could see here, if we click on this, uh, you could upgrade, upgrade there. And effectively all it is is $30 a month instead of the ChatGPT $20 a month plus user, okay? And so if we go through that, I'm gonna show you three examples. So this is a very simple one with the first one that you're gonna see here. Actually, this was for my son helping him with his science project, okay? He did a study on AI. One of the cool things about it was he was trying to understand how it affected leveraging summarization for quality scores and quantity scores. And so we just took a snippet, a screenshot. So like you literally don't even need to put a data like an Excel doc or a CSV file. You can literally screenshot a piece of data in here. And all I did is I said, okay, I'm looking for ways to visualize the scores of this test versus the speed of the test for students that used AI versus students that did not use AI in order to gain insights on how it could use or help students with learning effectively, all right? So a little bit of a, not very grammatically, I kind of fat finger a lot of things when I type it out, so it's not perfect. So the cool thing is it came back and said, hey, and this is something that we worked on together. So the, the thing that came back is, hey, to visualize the scores and speeds of the test, for those who did not, you can see the following methods. And it gave literally 11 different visual methods that we could use, okay? I said, please create one of each. I think that was too much for it. So then it had a bunch of errors, it timed out, and then I said, okay, create visuals for these type of charts. And I only copied three. It had an error in analyzing as well. Uh, and then what happened is it created it. Now it said it created the links, but it didn't show the links necessarily. I'm like, please provide the links. Okay, so one of the cool things is when I have this, what you're gonna see is basically I did this and I have these pulled up here. Let me just show you here. Let's see. Oh, say my session expired. So one of the things happened is that's probably because I already downloaded these. So if I pull this up, let me just pull this up on my other screen and I'll toggle it over. One of the things you're gonna see is actually, let's do this here. Okay, group bar chart. So this is an example of something that it created, all right? Now, that's just a very, very small micro example of what it is. I'm going to show you a couple other areas so that you could see like how this looks and how this all came out, which I thought was visually amazing. Uh, so here, as we look at this, what you're going to see is it also has, and I'm pulling these up in real time so you could see this. These are a few others that you're going to see. And what we have here is the stacked area chart that you're going to see, okay? So that's pretty wild. I thought that was pretty cool. The other one that uh, I thought was was good as we pulled up on this was the heat map. Okay, one of the things that it did is created a heat map of the scores. Right? I did not need to give it very explicit detailed instructions on how to do that. It just effectively did that when I asked that simple question and then pulled up the areas. Now, here's what I would say is it's not bug free. We're early on, so there's going to be times where you're working with ChatGPT and it doesn't work perfectly when we're leveraging this, all right? Now, I wanna show you another example, and this is more related to business, specifically as it relates to marketing. And so if we're looking at this, what I'll show you is exactly how it works. 
And I think you'll be blown away because one of the things that we had on here was the data keyword it appears to be OpenAI is being a little buggy right now, which happens sometimes. So let me repopulate that and see what's going on here. So sometimes this happens. Oh, sorry, I'm not sharing my screen here. All right. So what you're going to see here is this is a picture that I took from effectively, if you look at it, this is taken from BuzzSumo. So this is basically trending for keywords and different trending articles. So I was doing some research actually in preparation for this article. It's got a capability called Content Analyzer. All I did is I did a go full page. And what it did is it screen grabbed the entire page and analysis that it had. Okay. So then I said, all right, I want you to act like a 10-year expert who specializes in SEO optimized content for YouTube. My audience consists of, and it said, you know, basically my audience is AI interested, blah, 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 blah. And then I said, can you please look at this trending keyword data and identify 10 ideal YouTube videos that are maximized for virality, retention, and consumption, right? So this is kind of meta. So this is what I did to prepare for this. As you see here, what it did is it created optimized examples and titles with what the focus should be. At the same time, uh, it went through 10 of them. It was kind of funny. It went through three. And then it also went through another seven of them, okay? On top of it, it gave tips on how to make that actionable and really, really execute on it. So it covered everything from thumbnails to strong in introductions to content structure. You know, some of the titles are, you know, time freedom for sales pros, money freedom for through technology, future proof your career in sales with AI knowledge. And so... These are all totally relevant because in my custom instructions, which I'll, did, I'll do another video on, that basically gives it the context on who I am and who I serve. Now I said, hey, what would be your top recommendations for how-to videos? So here's how it dives in, how to integrate AI in your daily sales routine, how to use AI for lead scoring, how to leverage AI for market analysis, how to personalize sales pitches with AI. Okay, so these are all really, really cool ideas that I will be able to leverage as we go through this moving forward for you. And so expect to see some information or those coming up. All right, next thing, as we're kind of moving forward, there's one last example I wanted to show you. And this one absolutely blew me away. This is one, if you wanna take data and look at your customer data or any kind of larger data set that you have, have it, analyze it and work through trends. And I'm gonna show you a few examples of the output. So let me share this with you again, and you'll see really quickly and easily kind of what this looks like. But one of the things that in sales and marketing is highly, highly prevalent is looking at customer data. And that customer data could be something along the lines of purchase data, revenue data, churn data, all these other areas. And so one of the things I did is I have a, a test analysis example where basically I have customer data, uh, mock customer data, not real customer data, right? Because this was basically I did it on a, a business side or I should say my user account before the teams came out. But effectively what it did is they said, okay, I need you to perform an analysis on the customer profile data set attached to uncover insights on my ideal customer profile. So what I'm doing is based on all the revenue data that I have, it's profiling the commonalities with that. So I have an ideal person that I could nail and go after. So as you see, it did that, it did everything and basically looked at the data set headings, which is everything from company names, industry and location, keywords, tech used, funding information and founding year. And by the way, if you're listening to this on the audio, check it out on YouTube because you're going to see the visuals for all of these. So I am going to start to release like YouTube explainer videos or YouTube videos showing what I'm covering on the podcast as well, because I think when I do this audio, there's some of it that's missing. So I want to show the visuals as well. So as you can see here, I came up with four different graphs. It came up with an analysis of the industries we're in, the revenue distribution, the funding status, all right, and then what I did is I said, hey, identify the total percentage in total revenue in the top 10% and top 20% that the largest clients create, okay? So this is where it starts to get really cool. Once you have the general data, you could start drilling down. Now, here's what I would tell you. One of the biggest mistakes that I made when I was using this in the past is I would try and take the data from the sheet and then also have it intersect with data on the internet. All right. What I would say is if you're using data from a source, whether it's a picture or a sheet, keep within those parameters and use that. And so as you can see here, that's what I'm doing. And it works really, really well when you do that. OK, so the top 10 percent of the largest clients is one point one five million and the top 20 percent, the average is one point eight million. OK, and basically identifies as the top 20 account for 50 percent of my total revenue uh, and the top 10 percent contributed 31 percent of my revenue. All right, in this hypothetical situation. Now, 
as we kind of move forward on this, I'm not going to go through all this, but basically it gives like a step-by-step -step breakdown of this side-by-side -side bar charts. However, what happened as well is you could also ask for basically specifics for different components of it. So in here, one of the things I did is I identified, I said, hey, can you provide a visual of the tech stack distribution? So it identified the tech stack distribution in a bar chart, which is really helpful because I identified the ones that the most common customers I have use, right? So those are considered technographics. As we go down here too, I also said, hey, create a heat map. I want a different way to look at this and visualize this. So these are a few of the examples that, like I said, 99% of people miss because they're so enamored with the GPT store, which I think is amazing. However, if you are in business, if you are in sales, if you are in marketing, or if you are in leadership or a founder, these are all areas that are going to be absolutely game changers. And you could leverage this for only $30 a month through the team side of it. So want to wrap things up there. Appreciate you checking out this video. If you want to hear more, subscribe below. Would love to see you in this ecosystem. Drop some comments. Tell me what you want to see and where you want to go. I'm going to create more and more of these because I believe that this is one of the single biggest opportunities in mankind that's ever presented itself because of the rate of innovation. So those of you that jump in will basically be able to leverage this. Those that you wait on this will get run over by it. So really appreciate you having on, on the show and checking out this video. We will see you on the next one.